What's up everyone? Welcome back to EWC. Today, I will be attempting to do my first unboxing POV video and I want to share with you guys my new watch. Now, this watch I've been waiting for over a year and a half. This is a long story, but I'm going to make it really short. Basically, my little godbrother, Oscar Wang, he introduced me to a guy named Austin Chu by the IG handle of Horror Loop. Austin Chu, Horror Loop, started a really dope collaboration with Audemars PK, and it was the first time that AP worked with a collector. They collaborated on a new watch, and that is called the China Edition. Now that came out in early 2020, but because of the pandemic, I was not able to fly there because of traveling restrictions, quarantining, it was just such a hassle. And I wanted to be with Katia and Dizzy. So I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting until the end of 2020. A year goes by, still don't have the watch. And Austin and I were just talking about how, you know what, like we, we gotta find a way to get it to me. Get it in my hands, because I really wanna show you guys. Sometimes you gotta make things work. You gotta be brave, you gotta be bold, you gotta be courageous and take some risks. I say take some risks because Shipping watches around, it, it's nerve-wracking, it's stressful. I'm sure a lot of watch collectors know what I'm talking about, but we found a way to get it back here in Taipei. Before we open this, I am wearing the watch that really got me into perpetual calendars. This watch was from the year 2000, and it is an open work skeleton perpetual calendar. Uh, the reference number 25829BA. This is one of the most beautiful watches that I have ever set my eyes on. I remember when I was back in college and I saw Eminem wear it and I thought it was really, really dope. This is the same reference watch. I mean, it's got the leap year function and the moon phase. It's just uh, so beautiful. Now, actually the watch is in here. They sent me two boxes. It's all wrapped up inside this. I'm not gonna open it yet. I wanna show you everything inside this special box first and I'll get to that later on. Now let's get on to the big one. So we're gonna open the box and here we go. We have the first thing, it is a rotative box manual. Now all perpetual calendars come with an instructional manual on a watch winder and it comes in all different languages. It's gonna be in Arabic, Anti Zongwen, Jinti Zongwen, Russian, Portuguese, Espanol, Italiano, Deutsch, English, and French. Now, let's open this. Now, this is beautiful. It's not the traditional green oak. Now, this wooden box is so pretty. And it's got the AP plaque right here, China Limited Edition, and Now, right here, we can see that there's watch straps. We have the red one and this one. We have a gray, slate gray, charcoal colored alligator strap. Now this has red stitching on the sides. Very, very classy. And of course, we have the rubber straps, but it comes in red. And it's obviously got titanium AP clasp on it. You know, I, I might be using this. Check it out. So this is the watch winder. Um, like I said, perpetual calendars all come with one and the tool will be like this so it actually moves around. I am going to show you guys this is very important because this is the instructional manuals as well as the warranty manuals and the warranty cards. Now this is the actual warranty card and it has my serial number on it, my warranty number and the description of the watch uh, on the back like this but I'm not gonna show you guys I can't show you guys my serial number but it says Royal Oak limited edition 88 and with the QR code and if you go on the website and you register you get an additional three-year warranty so you have a total of five years of the warranty so this is the Audemars Piguet and it's got the reference number 26609TI blah 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 and the date and my serial number which I'm not gonna tell you guys so that is the manual for the professional calendar, and this is the international sales warranty. 
Now this, you probably don't have to read that much, but just make sure you register for the extra three years of the extended warranty. Now, I'm gonna open it up this side so you guys will get a glimpse. Here's the watch, people. This is the China Edition in titanium. Super, super light. And you know what? It's a watch that has a darker shade than stainless, but you can just tell the material is super light because it just feels so damn light. This reference number 26609TI, it's 41 millimeter case sizing. Um, it's about a little over nine and a half millimeters in thickness. The movement is caliber 5134. It's used in other perpetuals for AP, but the dial is really, really gorgeous. Um, I really like how they use the black subdials. And the tapisserie is actually slate gray. Uh, it's not pure black. However, the weak indicators like on the ring around, like right below the bezel, on the inside of the bezel. And you know it's the China edition because of a couple of red accents on the dial and on the hands. The markers are loomed as well as the hands, but then you have a red weak indicator hand and obviously the 31st day of the month uh, in that subdial. So these are the red accents that make this really, really special. They left all this on for me to take off because they knew that I was gonna be doing this unboxing, so thank you, AP. Normally, they won't allow you to do this. Usually, they take the wraps off in front of you, but because I was not there, they were willing to let me do this, and here we go. Now, the outside was the screen tape. Um, how do we get this off? Oh, all right. This. Huh. This, the Quantum Perpetual, limited edition of 88 pieces. So you have the weak indicator the month and the leap year, the day of the month, and the day of the week. Uh, and then you have the moon phase, and that is always so spectacularly made. It's got this dark blue in there. And the finish on this is really immaculate. I heard that this watch, 104 grams in total with all the links, I would probably be taking out two on each side, so this would probably be less than 95 grams. Let's weigh it. I, I'm really curious. This is advertised as 104, 104 grams. Now, I have a little digital scale right here. Don't ask me what it's for. It's for cooking. We shall see. 104, see that is on point. Now, let's check how much this weighs. 171.62. Well, it's almost double, not yet, but after I take a couple links off, I have a feeling this is gonna be in the 95 gram category, maybe a little less. It's got the size, it's got the thickness, it feels super sporty, and it looks very, very masculine. This is an amazing collector's watch. I really think Austin Shoe, Horror Loop, and AP hit it outside the park. Thank you guys for hooking me up. And you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And if you guys wanna see more of these unboxings with my new watch alerts, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna be enjoying this. I'm gonna start wearing this. It's gonna be my daily. I just know it. I have a feeling it's gonna be on my wrist all the time. Summer's coming around and uh, it seems like the perfect watch to wear. That is a dope ass complication. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.